Why can't you find love? How long have you really been single? Really? Having trouble finding that special soulmate? I can solve this one. Secrets of Birthdays, now live for purchase. Your love trouble? Over. All that and more at secretsofbirthdays.com. Hello Libra and welcome now to Thursday. Well, it's a partly sunny day. You are self-reflective, self-absorbed, and detached. There's a lot of processing going on today, especially for the air signs. The moon is in Gemini, an air sign just like you. So your emotions are focused on learning, basically. Learning your philosophy and what you believe in. This is the process of every 30 days. Maybe we relook at what we've learned and the conversations we've had and we learn from them. This might be you burying your nose in a book or wanting to take a little trip. It is you getting a perspective on your life and reflecting on it. So overall, you tend to be a little spacey. And that will be the case for the next couple of days till Saturday afternoon. Now over to the sun. At the same time, it's a decisive day. We're in chapter two of sun in Aries. Librans this month are working on their relationships, the way they partner, the way they maintain balance and order in their life, the rules in which you engage in this direction. And today Saturn is ruling the day, so today's the day to make some decisions. In chapter two, we want to make some decisions on the overall scope of what you're light casting this month. What is the scope of a partnership that you want? What is the scope of a marriage that you want? And see, by getting clear on the scope, we are cutting away from what we know we definitely don't want. Don't want a cheater. Don't want this. Don't want that. Don't want this kind of conflict in the relationship. So by focusing on scope, you are retroactively being decisive about what doesn't make the cut. And that's what Saturn is about, making that cut. Now Mercury is retrograding. So I'm just going to tell you, with Mercury retrograding over the sun and back through into chapter one of, sun of, of Aries, you're going to be reconsidering. There's going to be new evidence coming in the door all the time. And you're going to be changing your mind and redeciding and redeciding. So you're creating a scope, but it's going to be narrowed down and whittled to exactly what you want. And Mercury retrograde is going to ensure that. And Mars at the beginning, in chapter one of Aries, is saying, well, take action with what you do know. If you know you definitely don't want to be in a relationship with that person, take action now. No need to understand the scope of the perfect marriage when you know you don't want to be around this guy. <laughs> so don't. You have to manage your consciousness. And energy gets drained from loose ends. So tie up the loose ends, says Mars. And it's Thursday. We've got Sadiqa Salter's Renegade Aromatherapist live today. Today, Sadiqa is going to talk about nuclear radiation and what the plant kingdom can do to help you, protect you, heal from nuclear radiation. Planet Earth is more prepared than you might realize, and Sadiqa is here to talk about it. She's live everywhere the garden streams. All right, Libra, that's all I have for today. Tomorrow we take action in our relationships, or I should say in yours. Until then, live, love, be. So God.